In this video for J and NEET, we will learn about vectors, the change in direction and magnitude of vectors. Vectors have magnitude and direction. Say this is a vector. It has magnitude and direction given by this arrow. Now let us see what quantity changes magnitude of a vector. and in what direction does this change occur say we have a vector v all of us know that velocity is changed by acceleration or position is changed by velocity that is if we have change in velocity then the quantity responsible is acceleration and when we have change in position the quantity responsible is velocity so here we have velocity vector and acceleration acts in this direction forming angle theta with the velocity so to find the component of acceleration this will be called a cos theta and the component perpendicular will be a sin theta now as we can see here the quantity a cos theta is along the vector so a cos theta will be responsible for magnitude change that is a cos theta will be equal to d v by dt where v represents only magnitude of the velocity which we will call as speed magnitude of velocity is speed the other component a sin theta which was perpendicular to the velocity vector that brings change in direction because a sin theta acts perpendicular so it will do what it will rotate the vector keeping its magnitude same the role of a sin theta is change in direction which we will symbolically write as d of v cap the change in direction of the vector so any change in a vector is brought about into two parts one the change in magnitude and the other the change in its direction let us see what stands for direction change of the vector so when a vector changes its direction which is brought about by the perpendicular component of acceleration in case of velocity its angle changes that is it rotates so it is represented as d theta by dt cross the vector which in this case is velocity we may have any other vector in place of it be it position or angular momentum or momentum so the quantity d theta by dt cross v has magnitude equal to a sin theta that is a sin theta which was perpendicular to the vector which brought about change in direction will be given by d theta by dt cross v the vector and its magnitude will be equal to a sin theta which we can simply call as omega cross v its magnitude as a sin theta and we can say this is the reason why in uniform circular motion the centripetal acceleration which we know is perpendicular to velocity and is equal to omega cross v magnitude which turns out to be omega square r or v square by r so the centripetal acceleration since brings change in direction of the velocity and therefore is perpendicular to velocity and has this magnitude because the quantity which brings change in direction will always be written as omega cross the vector thank you